Hello VC, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the vinyl vlog. So I'm here today to do my vinyl update number five. So this is everything I picked up in July of 2018. So first of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed on the back, subscribed, subscribed, subscribed on the back of the video that Matt Hayes put out during the World Cup. Fantastic. Thank you, Matt, for doing that. I've been meaning to thank you for ages, but oh, it's just been a bit of manic um, going on here with, you know, you know what it's like having a baby in the house, so it's just every time I try and do something she kicks off, so I fully expect to have to pause this and leave it. So thanks again Matt and hello to all my new subscribers. So I did say I was going to calm down the record buying, didn't I? Yeah, that hasn't happened. This has happened. <laughs> to be fair, some of the singles and the box set were from my mum. They came from my mum's record collection. Um, I didn't buy them, they were given to me. In fact, she's given me her whole record collection. I'm just not bringing it all over in one go. She said I can take it whenever I want because she just doesn't play her records. And she said with the singles, I'm taking them, I've got them all on CD. So we're gonna start with all the seven inch singles. So the first uh, lot will be these ones. These are all the ones that came from my mum. So there's um, the first one is Marty Wilde, Endless Sleep. Now this is on the old gold label, so it's not an original. But the old gold label is, when we lived in Blackwood, we used to go to a record shop in Blackwood called Martin Luther Records. And you used to be able to order anything you wanted. And he had this catalogue, and you could get a copy of the catalogue for like 10p. And it was the, the catalogue for the Golden Oldies, the old gold collection. And so we'd go through it and we'd we get what we wanted so that's why there's so many of these old gold ones there's a few that haven't got sleeves and didn't have sleeves so they've been put into these these white ones that I've had for a while that I picked up for my uh sack of 45s so the next one is Engelbert Humperdinck uh release me and there goes my everything as long as my brother Chris is, isn't singing it it's an all right song and then we've got Buddy Holly Peggy Sue and every day on the back that one last. Uh, then uh, there is uh, one of Christopher's, which was Johnny Cash, a boy named Sue, and San Quentin. Now, Johnny Cash, I can t I know people love him. I can take him or leave him. There are certain songs I really like. I like Walk the Line and Ring of Fire. Um, but a boy named Sue is not my favourite one, but it's, it's all right. And then we've got The Bachelors, and it's I Wouldn't Trade You for the World and beneath the willow tree on the Decca label. Back to the old gold for the Kaylin Twins when on one side and the Ponytails on the other side with Born Too Late. I like those two songs. Then we've got Johnny Layton Remember Me and Wild Wind. Again, that's one of the songs I remember from my childhood and a lot of this just brings back a lot of memories. I know you can probably hear Jennifer in the background. She's playing with her toys and trying to get my attention. <laughs> Hello darling, yes. Uh, this one is Jim Roos and it's Welcome to My World and My Juanita on the other side. Very nice. I, I don't know what the state of these are. I've cleaned them all and they do have some scuffs on them. Whether or not they're going to play or they're going to end up in the bin because they're scratched, I don't know yet. So, And then we've got Engelbert Humperdinck, The Last Walk and Am I That Easy To Forget? Again, I think that's what, again, as long as Chris isn't singing it, I can live with it. Because Chris, my brother, is a terrible singer. And the last single was actually, again, one of Christopher's. It's Cliff Richard and the Young Ones Living Dull, featuring Hank Marvin. This was a charity single that was put out for Comic Relief back in 1985. It was the first of the Comic Relief singles, I believe. Um, and I pulled this over because I'm going to be doing a video on novelty singles. Because I have quite a few. Because I am one of those people that have to buy them. So those are the ones that came from my mum. Other ones that I've picked up this month, there's quite a few Madonna ones, but they're all mixed in, they're not in any particular order. Um, I've got Madonna Open Your Heart, which is Back With Lucky Star. And Cherish, which is backed with Supernatural. And I've got OMD Sailing on the Seven Seas. I love this cover with Burning on the B-side. Then we've got a reissue, um, the Collector Series Limited Edition, Elvis at Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel. I don't know what this one looks like. 
they are. It's got the middle punched out, it's the RCA. There. So that's that one. And then next are a few more Madonna ones. This one was 50p in the charity shop and it's 7 inches borderline. I've actually got the 12 inch of it as well. So that plays fine. I've played that one. Some of these I've played. Um, some of the ones I've bought I've played. I've bought, played ones from and some of them I haven't. We got uh, Rescue Me, Madonna with the back line of Spotlight. Justify My Love and Express Yourself. Dear Jessie, which I really love from the Like a Prayer album. And on the back is Till Death Do Us Part. Now I'm finished the Madonna now. And then uh, I got Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine Can't Stay Away From You. And this is in the limited edition poster package. Again, this was 50p from the charity shop. And this is a charity shop that I went in a few weeks ago and they didn't have anything at all. And then last time I went in, they had tons. So I got two singles and quite a few LPs, which you'll be seeing fairly soon. I know I'm dropping out the bottom of the thing, but I can't be bothered to change my camera. <laughs> Um, then I've got Huey Lewis and the News Small World. I love Huey Lewis News. Oops, that's the top one. So it's uh, Small World, uh, the single version on, on uh, the A side, and then parts one and two on the B side. And the B side plays at 33, and the A side plays at 45. And the last single I picked up was Share Love and Understanding with Trail of Broken Hearts on the other side. I, I do like the cover, it's very nice. So that's all the seven inch singles. I did get four 12 inches, again three of them are Madonna, I'm not going to lie. But the 12 inches I got was I got the 12 inch of Robin Beck's First Time, which was from the Coca-Cola advert. I played this and Paul said, oh my god, I'm, it's like I'm back in the 80s. So he said it's really nostalgic hearing that. And it's actually a very good, he even said it's a very good song. I like that one. On to the three Madonna ones. We got Into the Groove with Everybody and Shooby Doo on the back. I love this because it's the stills from... Um, Desperately Seeking Susan, which is a fantastic movie and I love the film, so it's definitely one. And this one plays fine, no problems, no scratches or anything. It's really good. You can see my TV reflected in the back. <laughs> I'm watching YouTube videos. And we got Madonna Crazy For You. This is the uh, reissue that came out around the time of the Immaculate Collection. So it's got Crazy For You remix, Keep It Together or, and Into The Groove on here. I love the picture on the back. And the last one I bought is, was the most expensive of the 12 inches and it is the British, uh, well the European I suppose, it's not the American one because the American one has a double, the lucky buggers. Um, and it's the 12 inch, sorry, from Confessions on a Dance Floor. So there's four versions of Confession of, of Sorry on here. Uh, the Elm version, the PSB Maxi Mix, the Paul Oakenfold Remix and the Green Velvet Extended Remix. And I bought it because I wanted the Pet Shop Boys, the PSB one. Because I love the Pet Shop Boys and I watched the uh, video that they mashed together of this version on YouTube. And I thought, oh, I love it. And Neil Tennant singing background on it. And mm -hmm. oh, it's fantastic. I love the Pet Shop Boys and I love Madonna. So why wouldn't I get that? And it's, it's lovely. It comes in another inner sleeve. It's got the pink label that goes with the confessions thing and I just love it. So, some 12 inches to add to my 12 inch collection. I am trying to sell my picture discs of Madonna because I don't want them and I've got the, my duplicate introspective. I got them up on eBay. If they go, they go. If they don't, it's not that major. <laughs> And um, then the box set I got from my mum, the box is really, really battered. It's a Reader's Digest box set called Rock Revival. And it's got six, well, there are actually seven LPs in this, but there are six in the Rock Revival uh, set. And then there's a bonus one, which has always been in this so I assumed that's where it came from. So the Rock Revivals are, they all have the same colour, but each colour is really different. So. Um, and when I say rock revival, it's not like heavy rock or anything, it's like rock and roll. So you've got things like rock and roll music by Chuck Berry, um, It's My Party by Leslie Gore, um, Roll Over Beethoven, it, that's, that's just on one, there's obviously more on there. And then record two is blue with green writing. And we've got Memphis, Bo Diddley, Let Me In, Johnny Good, Runaway. Hey Baby, Razzle Ralph, etc, etc. Disc 3 is pink and yellow. 
And there's uh, Leader of the Pack, Donna. Hats off to Larry, Sweet Little Sixteen, Tallahassee Lassie, and so on. Um, so these are, these are great compilations that my mum's had for years, and I can I can remember playing them on her old Sanio system. Four, green and red. Volume five is yellow and sort of orangey colour, and volume six is red and blue. So yeah, that's a really good set. And then the bonus disc because. She has got two other of these Reader's Digest sets as well. She's got another Reader's Digest set. She's got another box set as well. Um, the other Reader's Digest set is the Elvis one. And there are seven LPs in that. And on the back it makes up a picture of Elvis if you put them all together like a jigsaw. And the other box set she's got is Jim Reeves. And funnily enough, the Jim Reeves one is the only box set that is in good condition. Because obviously she hasn't played it. So record seven in this set was The Platters. And it's got the same sort of layout as the rest of them. Um, so it's got Lazy River, Only You, Thanks to the Memory, Once in a While, Tumbling Tumbleweed, Red Sails in Sunset, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, Someone to Watch Over Me, Sleepy Lagoon, Teacher's Own, My Prayer and Stormy Weather. So that's on that disc. So that's the box set that I got from my mum. So I'm trying to repair the box and I've managed to repair one corner so far. So it's a bit, a bit slow. I will have another go at that that down there on to the next set of things which is all the lps i got in july i gotta stop buying records it's not gonna happen because there's a record fair tomorrow and i'm going so the first one is elvis let's be friends um this came from the seller that matt hayes mentioned kerry carter 1976 the, the, the first four lps did um the robin beck 12 inch did i got I, no that came from a different seller did it yeah, that came from a different side, but these ones, these four LPs came from this one. So it's got Stay Away Joe, I, uh, If I'm a Fool, Let's Be Friends, Forget About the Stars, Mama, I'll Be There, Almost, Change of Habit, Have a Happy. That one there on the green RCA International label. It's an alright album. Yeah, this one that my mum never got when she was collecting Elvis, so I would really, really, I really like that one. Had to repair the sleeve though, which is where this thing was going. Um, the next one is Elaine Page Cinema. So Elaine Page is a British musical theatre actress and singer. Um, she's played, she played, she played uh, Grizabella in Cat. She's been in Vita, uh, Chess, Sunset Boulevard. I couldn't think of it then, and so on. And she now presents a Radio Two show on musicals on Sunday afternoons at one o'clock. If you want to listen in, I like it. Sometimes we have it on. So on this one's got uh, Windmills of Your Mind, Out Here on My Own, The Prisoner, Sometimes, Theme from Mahogany, Do You Know Where You're Going To, Out Where We Belong, and Side Two is Unchained Melody, Bright Eyes, Alfie, Missing, The Way We Were, and The Rose. So it's as it says, it's cinema. It's all songs from uh, movies. Then we got a, a garland for Judy. This is, from what I gather, it's the Worn Strings Arranger cut by Sam Butcher, um, produced, uh, playing and singing the songs of Judy Garland. So I don't know, I haven't played it yet, so I don't know what it's like. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I was just checking that Jennifer's all right and she's fine, she's just playing on the mat and she's like, not quite crawling yet, but she's certainly trying. When she's only six months old, but she's certainly trying. So the last one I got from Kerry Carter was Shirley Bassey, Thoughts of You. This is a little bit warped, but it's not so bad that it won't play. Again, this is mostly musicals by the look of it. So we've got Sending the Clowns, and then there's Clear Me Softly. Uh, feelings, What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life? What I Did for Love from Chorus Line. All That Love Went to Waste. The Way We Were, If You Go Away. Alone Again, a song called Jesse. I Won't Last a Day Without You. And your attention on my life, which is very nice. Nice one to add to my little but ever growing Shirley Bassey collection. Um, now we're on to the ones I picked up in the charity shops last time I went into Newport. The first one was a pound, and this is Michael Crawford with Love. I love Michael Crawford. Again, British comedy actor, most famous for playing Frank Spencer in Some Mothers Do Have Em. Also went on to play Phantom in Phantom of the Opera, and of course, before that was in Barnum. Um, which is available on DVD and I do have it and it's fantastic, it's a lovely voice. So that's that one. I, I played that one, I really do like that album. Um, I am a sucker for musicals. I love musicals. I know a lot of people don't like musicals, but I'm sorry, I do and I do collect <laughs> music soundtracks when I find them. And for 50p, 
I'm not gonna leave 42nd Street behind, am I? Let's be honest. So this is 42nd Street. Uh, it's a gatefold, one record, but it's got a lovely gatefold with a bit about the story and then shots from the show. So I haven't played this one yet, but you know, it's 42nd Street. It's got all those classics on it, like, uh, let me have a look. We're in the money. Um, Lullaby of Broadway, Shuffle of the Buffalo, 40, and of course 42nd Street, obviously. Um, again, 50p was the best of Tammy Wynette, featuring Stand By Your Man. So I like, like a bit of Tammy Wynette, so it's a very boring album cover, but uh, Stand By Mine, Lonely Street, Divorce, Gentle On My Mind, Take Me To Your Daughter, Poseidon, Your Good Girl's Gonna Go Bad, I love that song. I Don't Wanna Play House Apartment, number nine's on there as well, so as well as some others. Then I picked up Barbara Streisand's Greatest Hits Volume 2. Um, again, I love female singers, um, mainly because I can sing along to them. I'm not going to lie. So this one was Barbara Streisand's. It's got the lyrics in it as well. Obviously, I've replaced all the sleeves when I cleaned them. Haven't played it yet. And it is Volume 2, so I've got to get Volume 1. Um, but that's not so bad. Now we're on to the 80s. Uh, I got four 1980s albums. Classics. Wow, well, pop, pop, very poppy from uh, that Cherry Shop 50p. And so far, I've only played one, but it plays perfectly. It's like these are in really good condition. It's like the owner really took care of them. So the first one I got was Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine, Anything For You. It's got the hype sticker on it. It's in pretty good condition for its age on the Epic label. So I've been, you all right, Peanut? looking at other things mostly baby stuff and Paul found this, these ones and he pulled them out I might have to go in a minute um, and then Belinda Carlisle Heaven on Earth um, again in, this is the one I've played it's in excellent condition there's no skips it hardly crackles there's nothing at all it's absolutely fantastic and I do like Belinda Carlisle so that's a fantastic uh, that was a fantastic find I'm just going to go and get Jennifer so I'll be right back Okay, so whew, I'm back. Jennifer wants to say hello. <laughs> We're nearly, well, we are kind of near the end. It's going to be a bit difficult. So the next one again, a 1980s one. Kylie Minogue, self-titled LP. Kylie, in excellent condition. I think somebody must have dropped in their records from the 80s and I just got what was left. Or they hadn't put them all out because they had a ton of records out. Excellent condition. Looking forward to playing that one. And you can't have Kylie without having a bit of Jason. So Jason Donovan, 10 Good Reasons. Again, in excellent condition. This person really took care of their records. So I was really pleased to, to pick that one up as well. Went to a car boot sale. There really wasn't very much record-wise there. There was two packets of records. I looked through, I bought one. Um, I bought a load of clothes for Jennifer though, didn't we? And a load of DVDs for Jennifer too. Um, but I did pick up one album, and that is uh, this Dolly Parton album. Um, it is distributed by Pickwick, but it, you know, it is what it is. Um, for 50p, again, at a boot sale. It's got Love Is Like a Butterfly on it, which is great. I love that song. So It's in pretty good condition. I have cleaned up the jacket a bit. It was a bit more discoloured than it is there, but there we go. Um, another one of Matt Hayes' sellers. Some of those singles came from and the Robin Beck came from. It's the same person as Kerry Carter, but they've got another one, which is... Oh, I've just sold something on eBay because I had a ka uh, It was at... Um, at Retro Collectibles hyphen full. Um, I'll have a look at that. It's probably one of my LPs. Probably Pet Shop Boys. Um, and I picked up the very best of Scylla Black. I've wanted a Scylla Black album for a while because I do love Anyone I've Had a Heart and You're My World. And Alfie, that's another ka -ching. Somebody's buying records, hopefully. <laughs> I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. I'm very excited. I'll let you know in the next video. And I also purchased, now that's what I call music too. I think this is about four quid. It might have been less. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm slowly getting these. Um, I haven't played it, but the record looks to be in really, really good condition. So fantastic 
um, I'm happy with that. And, and I got two Judy Garland LPs. I've cleaned them, I haven't played them. You might have noticed that these aren't in poly sleeves. That's because I haven't played them. I only put them in poly sleeves once I've pulled and played them. The two Judy Garland ones are in poly sleeves, but that's because they came in them. Uh, so it's the Judy Garland Story Volume 1, the Star Years, and it's with the MGM Studio Orchestra. So this is stuff like Last Night When We Were Young, play that barbershop called Who, Look For The Silver Lining. It's the more later stuff from the MGM years for volume one, but I, there's some great songs on there. And this one, I will show you, take it out. This one is on the MGM yellow label. I think it's the yellow label, I'll hang it out, yeah. So that one's on the MGM yellow label. And I will put that back in later. Um, once we've played this. And I've also got volume two. Now, this also has one of the same songs on it, which is Johnny One Note. That's on both of them. But it also ha but this has more of the early stuff on here. So it has that like, You Made Me Love You, Be Me Bis Du Schon, Over the Rainbow, I Cried For You, Nobody's Baby. So it's got the really early stuff on it. But this one's a gatefold. And... Uh, so it's very, very nice gatefold, like so. But this is on the black MGM with the rainbow right in label. If I can get the record out, hang on a sec. It's very difficult to do this with you, baby. Here it is. So I'll actually take this out because it's, it's very hard to see. So there you go, that's the, the label that it's got on there. You've got Leo the Lion, MGM in the Rainbow Writing, very nice. And very good condition. I got those from Vinyl Tap, which again is a record shop in the UK. And they actually are a bricks and mortar record shop as well as an online one. You can, if you lived in the, up north, you could go in there. So I'm just going to pop that somewhere. And the very last record is the only brand new record I bought this month. I'm just going to move it so I can sit peanut down. Um, so I'm just going to... A little move around a minute. You're gonna sit there, darling. There's a good girl. So I can get the albums back in. Oh, it's hard work. Um, and this is probably a band that you probably will never will have thought you would never see on my channel because my channel, as you know, I do mostly pop. I do like my for my 50s. I love stuff from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. But there's nothing really hard rock on there. There's no metal or anything. But there is this. And you probably thought you'd never see this on here. And this is Nightwish Once. Love this album. I love the cover. There's that. It's um, spread across two albums instead of one. Um, it's a lovely gatefold. The lyrics. It's the lyrics, yeah. And then, oh, my message pictures from the band. Now, I went to see Nightwish in concert, and it was the once tour. I went with my best friend Fiona and her partner who is now her husband Stuart and Fiona's sister Beth and we went to see Nightwish in concert. It was a great night, they were fantastic. I loved them so I thought I have to, have to get a Nightwish album and because this was the tour I went on I wanted it. I do want to get some more of their albums but that's that one. So those are the things that I picked up in July. Apart from a massive stack of 45s. It was 96, I think I took eight out because they were duplicates. So look out for another episode of a great big stack of 45s. That will be coming pretty fast on the back of this one, although there will be a vlog tomorrow from the record fair. Because why not? You got it, right? Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this rather large vinyl finds, considering this is just from August, uh, July. Uh -huh. And I've already got three in August and another one on the way. So that's four. That's just LPs and a single. See, it's ridiculous, it's addictive, this record by Malarkey. It really, really is ridiculous. So if you leave it there. So that's um all I picked up. If you've listened to any of these, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Nightwish. I can't wait to put that on. I'm just a bit worried about what what Peanut's gonna think about it and she's just got hold of the sky remote so we might end up watching some tv in a minute so i will see you soon i hope you had a great time if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up um subscribe if you're not a subscriber i really do appreciate it share it with your friends if you want to and just let me know what you think uh, about these records or any other records um this is the sort of stuff i like so give me some recommendations based on that so i can go and sort it so and check out some new music um i will be back with the record fair vlog as long as it's still going ahead it should be 
and I'll see you soon VC. Bye!